Hey folks, this is Dr. K and I wanted to make this quick video as a follow-up to last week's uh, Q&A. So if you remember at the end of last week's Q&A, we had something that looked like this. We, we tweaked the starter code to make it look like this. Uh, specifically in the header, the logo is now on the left. It's against the left edge. The search bar is in the middle and these buttons are over here on the right. And that looks pretty good. We used a uh, space between justify context in the, um, in the headers flex box to achieve that. Um, we also made the children uh, of the header uh, we gave them a flex basis of 100%, so that means they're going to take up as much room as they can. And if they're all 100%, that means they're all trying to take up as much room as they can. And uh, you're going to get an equal amount of room for each of them. Uh, and finally, we align the elements within each child. So we align this logo to the left we aligned this material to the center and we aligned this material to the right. And it all looked good, it all looked wonderful, uh, except that when we hovered over the category menu, uh, it showed up over here, okay, in this weird place. Um, and we couldn't figure out why. So to understand why, we're going to look at uh, first the HTML and we're going to look at the menu and the menu is this the, the menu portion of that drop down is this unordered list okay and notice that we've got a button the button is that categories button right there and uh, the unordered list is the menu and they're both children of this header drop down div okay and the header drop-down div, we can't really tell where that is just by looking at the page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into uh, the header drop-down CSS. And I've got a position uh, relative on here. Uh, but I want to put a border around this so I can see where the div is. So I'm just going to put a order of uh, I'm gonna give it a solid blue border that's two pixels so two pixel border that is solid blue okay and then I'm gonna save that and there's where my uh, header drop down div is okay and now lo and behold you can see that when I hover over this category menu uh, oh, look, it's not random. It's actually this, the left edge of that menu is aligned, left aligned with the left edge of the, uh, of the header dropdown. Okay, div. All right, so we can see that. And that's great, but that's not where we want it. Uh, probably the easiest fix would be to put this um, to the right to make it right aligned uh, with this. And I want to show you the the CSS for the uh, hover dropdown uh, menu, and that's this unordered list here. So when I hover over this uh, unordered list, I'm saying I want the position to be absolute. And one of the reasons I'm doing that is because I want to position it it uh, with respect to its parent, okay, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Uh, but another one is because I want to put a Z index on it. And absolute positioning allows me to put a Z index on things. I have a Z index of one, and that means it's going to, when it appears, it's going to be on top of all the other elements on the page. And that's because all the other elements on the page have a Z index of zero. Uh, and that's just because by default, an element gets a Z index of zero. Okay, so if I give it a Z index of one, it goes on top of all elements with a Z index of zero. And you can give something a Z index of two and it'll go on top of everything with a Z index of one and so on and so forth. Okay. Um, 
So that's uh, one of the reasons I want to make this absolute. But also this absolute positioning uh, allows me to do some things, um, position this with respect to its parent. And remember the parent is the uh, header dropdown. And the parent has to have a position of relative for the absolute to work, uh, just FYI. So uh, what it does by default, if it gives this less left property a position of zero. So if I did this right, this should not change anything. So when I hover over this, yeah, it still puts it so that the left edge is aligned with the left edge of its parent, okay? Uh, but I can also, instead of saying align the left edge with the left edge of its parent, I could say align the right edge with the right edge of its parent. And when I save this, then I get my menu where I want it, okay? Uh, and that's the fix. It works. It looks good, or that's a fix. <clears throat> that looks good to me. But just so you understand what uh, kind of things you can do with these absolute positioning, if I would change right to 100 pixels, okay, and then save that, and now I hover over it, and, you know, if you feel like it, take a couple seconds, pause the video if you want, think, what do you think it would do? if I put right 100 pixels. Okay, well, let's find that. I'm gonna hover over this. That's kind of interesting. So what it actually did here was it said, okay, by default uh, for the right property, the right edge of the menu aligns with the right edge of its parents, but I'm gonna move that 100 pixels to the left, okay? I'm gonna move it in 100 pixels, all right? And if I, instead of had pixels, if I change this to percent, that's saying I'm gonna move this in, or to the left, 100%, which is the entire width of this box. So when I hover over it now, look, the right edge of the menu is aligned with the left edge of the parent, okay? So these are things you can do with absolute positioning. I, you know, you gotta be a little bit careful with uh, absolute positioning because when you start putting a lot of things in there, uh, it can be a little bit fragile, things can break. I typically use it for uh, menus absolute positioning and I use it for overlays uh, sometimes like these uh, these mystery uh, text boxes here for the category I believe I used absolute positioning uh, with that to position them relative to uh, the image okay but that's pretty much it I'm gonna change this back because uh, I want this to be zero and I want this to work right and I'll go ahead and uh, get back, get rid of my border also. I'll save that and now everything works just the way I want it to work. Okay, that's it. I'll see you online.